I remember that. Just so you guys know, I'm fully aware of the fact that they're going to change the character model for Sonic after this, but I figured that I should still at least watch the trailer and just get my thoughts, positive and negative, about the direction they were initially going to go through before everyone just like went on the internet and just like bombarded Paramount Pictures and whoever was in charge of design. You know what? We'll just watch it and I'll actually get my thoughts across uh, after the trailer. So three, two, one and play. <laughs> the trailer starts now. Green Hills. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I already know. I already know. <laughs> you would have to been completely oblivious to the... That's a lot of shoes. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember that there's this song is playing. That that's robotic slash Eggman, right? Allow me to clarify. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stone, the doctor thinks you're basic. Listen, pal. I don't know if you realize. I'm sorry, Major. What was your name? Ben. Nobody cares. This November. Oh God, here it is. Oh Jesus! I mean, there again. There's positives and negatives. Okay. No, but thank you for asking. Uh oh. Whatever this creature is, our job is to secure it, neutralize it, see what makes it tick. Jesus, that bit. I've seen that played several times on uh, Instagram. Look at this. I took nine million steps today. Um, you know what? That was actually kind of cool in a bit. So, I mean, there and be quiet. I'm gonna give it a second. Much longer. I can't breathe in here. Do you have your child in that bay? No. I mean, yes, it's a child, but it's not mine. It's not your child. It smells like body spray and an old ham sandwich. Oh. No, oh, no, that's just like the actual look for Eggman. Okay. Whew. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> what opinion hasn't been expressed about this already? when this was released and I'm pretty sure if I look at the um oh yeah that is uh 621,000 dislikes versus the 349,000 plus you know what actually you know what that doesn't look as bad <laughs> when, you know, when you notice that the likes are actually that high that's kind of nuts um okay it's it's no longer trending but okay so I will say that um uh, obviously the biggest thing that people have talked about and what i feel personally is that um care model is the, i'm sorry the character model is not so great <laughs> there was that shot of um a pile of shoes that song just walks across and indicating that um we may or may not see his feet i mean that's a separate thought entirely of my thoughts but just that's something you might want to keep in mind of if that were to have continued. And um, next thing, um, well, actually, I should, probably should leave my thoughts for what they were going to remodel them after. Uh, maybe just like focusing mainly on what's going on in the trailer itself. Um, the music choice is very weird. I just don't feel like it fits his character at all. But considering the fact that Sonic is just kind of oddly placed here and it seems like he has a really weird 
or vague background. Like, I guess he's been here for as long as he's been alive. And other adaptations for Sonic, uh, the most notable one would be Sonic X, I'd believe, is that he just kind of like got transported via like chaos control. Like his entire world is melded with like Earth. And that was how he met like just the anime character Chris and everything like that. And that was it that worked because it was um it was 2D animation and now we're dealing with 3D animation. And um as far as his design, it's um it's weird, but I kinda get it. It's weird because you're gonna probably make a lot of comparisons between Sonic here and um Detective Pikachu where it's kind of a more hyper realistic uh fuzzy version of their uh 2D counterparts. And what's strange is that Pikachu's design, it makes sense. And a lot of people are totally on board with that. But when you look at Sonic here, it just doesn't seem to work. And I don't know if there was a better way for them to do it. People have have already kind of imposed their own ideas of how a 3D model looking Sonic would be. And it still kind of comes off as a little 2D-ish. So I was thinking that maybe the right direction for this particular uh, movie would have been kind of like, um, think of Space Jam and the fact that you had like Bugs Money and the rest of the other Looney Tunes in 2D, but you have Michael Jordan and every other like human character still 3D. And I believe there was another Looney Tunes movie that dealt with that and they still did the same way. And I think that that would have been the best direction for this, an adaptation for Sonic because like that's such an iconic like look for Sonic, and and granted Pikachu was able to do the exact same thing and people are on board with that again. This feels weird. Like it doesn't seem to work. I like the approach for like Eggman and slash Robotic. I don't know like who he's being referred to as for this, but I think he might go through a change. But kind of introducing him as kind of like the last resort, like scientist to kind of track down who Sonic really is. Uh, by the way, I, I gotta I gotta point out like the lightning s quills. That's just <laughs> that's just not right. But okay, <laughs> I will say that some of the effects, uh, from when like Sonic does his drop spin dash and like piles through like one of the first uh, mechs from Eggman. I'm just gonna refer him. Ooh, excuse me, refer to as Eggman. Just like the collision part, that was actually really cool. Uh, another cool bit was actually just him like going in slow motion, quick silver style, and just kind of like knocking up all these like rockets and stuff like that. But other than that, mm, I don't, I don't know. This is, it's just kind of. I think everything else can be okay slash passing if they did something with like Sonic's model. I think that's the biggest concern because you, you he doesn't have gloves. So it's just his bare hands and that within itself is kind of strange and you kind of have to wonder like, like, <laughs> where do you go if the focus, the move, the focus is just as grossly humanoid like hedgehog and it's just him. You don't see like a double tail fox or you don't see an echidna minus all the extra like reproductive organs and just the plethora of like the Sonic cast. It's just him. It's just Sonic. And it's just a hyper-realistic version of him in this humanoid world. And we're we're just going to have to accept that. And my guess is that at the end of the movie, they'll just explain the fact that it's not just him. It's going to be everyone else. And everyone's going to pop in for like a last minute like cut in like cameo. And everyone's going to get freaked the fuck out. Especially when they see Knuckles. Right now where I'm sitting at... Oh shit, I didn't even think about like what the implications here after the fact because if it weren't for me just putting this on hold um we were supposed to like film this earlier um on the weekend and have a discussion on this but the fact is is that because there was such an outrage for sonic's character modeling uh i think someone from paramount like announced that okay we hear what you're saying we're going to just backtrack and remodel sonic completely so what you're seeing on this trailer is no longer the final product product for him. They're going to actually redesign him. And I think, honestly, they should have done that first. They really should have 
took a, t- take a look at this character and think, will this work? And the obvious answer here is no. And you kind of have to wonder, like, who pushed the idea forward in the first place? And I can't, I can't speak on behalf, defend, or argue f- against it. Oh, actually, I could totally argue for uh, changing the character because that just didn't look like Sonic in any way. And Pikachu, and Detective Pikachu, Pikachu, sorry, Detective Pikachu, looks exactly like Pikachu, so that works. Uh, but here it doesn't. It just doesn't. And the sad part is, is that even though this is a yes for the internet because we got Paramount to change the character. People have been saying that this is a downside for the animators who went, who probably put a lot of effort into like making the animation for Sonic as he is now. And when you re- redesign a character, my understanding, according to the internet, is that this takes a lot of work and a lot of uh, redesign. And the fact is that these animators won't really be compensated for the additional work. So I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I think a lot of people would say so. So, I mean, if you guys have like any kind of like reference below, like in the comments, they just kind of link to like articles stating, stating as such that, you know, these employees are not going to be refunded or like reimbursed quite as well for the redesigns. Then that's, that sucks because when you put a lot of effort into something, even if even if it ends up like this and it doesn't look that great, it's still work. And if you're not re, re, if you're not compensated enough for what you're doing, then it ends up kind of a waste of your time and money and energy, and it just kind of sucks. So I do feel bad for the people who have to do this again, but I hope that with this, the movie can sell pretty well. I mean, there's going to be people who are going to watch it anyway. Like, Sefi was going to watch it. That's fine. And, you know, I'd probably watch it anyway, even if they didn't do a redesign, because I just maybe wanted to see how bad this could be. Also, so there's something I should point out as well, is the fact that Sonic can throw his rings and create par- uh, um, sorry portals. I feel like I've seen that before. But honestly, I think the concept the consensus like as far as like modern sonic is that that is not something that happens so it's 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 weird it's weird also i think gabe had something else to say it was the fact that like sonic just shut down like or created a, a huge power outage and um i mean he can he can explain his piece uh in the podcast he he totally definitely did but like TLDR, Sonic just killed a bunch of little babies in the hospital because of that huge power outage. So in any case, aside from, aside from that, or I think it could have been something else, uh, again, um, podcast episode 256 of, well, doing a podcast, yeah, he'll explain that. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to say anything negative per se. It's just that I feel so conflicted because, I mean, I... I'm not against the idea of Sonic having his own like live action movie, but I'm also not for this character model, but I'm also not for the animators not being uh, compensated well enough. But again, I don't know the full story of that, but I don't know. You guys could just let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll just end it here because this is something I definitely wanted to get my point across because it was just, or express my opinions about it because it's, because I'm also a Sonic fan as well. So seeing this is strange. Very, very strange. But okay, I'll, I'll just leave it like this. I'm just confused and conflicted. And that's all I can say <laughs> right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And let me Again, let me know what you guys think about the trailer. Or the whole conspiracy. Not conspiracy, but just the conflicting feelings of him and the animators. Having to do the entire redesign of Sonic in the uh, comments below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys sorry i'll see you guys in the next one hashtag bye everyone